Hi, my name's Leo and I'm a boat builder and a sailor. A few years ago I bought a very old and quite famous wooden sailing boat for the price of one dollar. And since then, with the help of a lot of amazing people, I've rebuilt that boat from the keel up and recently relaunched her. Now this video is about sailing out of Port Townsend Bay for the very first time since the rebuild and starting our big trip north for the summer. But before we can leave, we've got a lot of last minute preparations and provisioning to do. So we've got to stock the boat with food and tools for the summer. Uh, and my last big job is to build a bronze chain stripper or chain peeler, which is a device that will attach to the capstan on the foredeck and will help the anchor chain come away from the gypsy and stow properly in the chain locker. So I haven't really been filming this because it's been so hectic the, the last couple of days getting everything ready. Uh, the capstan went on really well and i um, really pleased with the gypsy after I'd done the modifications. It was just still sticking a little bit when there was no weight on the chain and we realized that we'd need a stripper or a uh, chain peeler as they're known over here, uh, which is a device to pull the chain away from the gypsy or the wildcat. And so I spent the last uh, they also making this uh, peeler which is a bronze plate that's bolted through the deck and through the blocking and it's got this uh, big block underneath to raise it to the right height and it goes into the slot in the middle of the, the gypsy and, and pulls the chain away from it. Now I've also uh, been modifying this chain stop, uh, just put a big coke in the bottom, it's a nice purple part uh, round coke that slots into the chain stop and chuck slots into the lift here and so this stops this from moving at all because there can be quite a lot of pressure on here. Well, the chain peeler is on and seems to be working and now we've just got to stock the boat with all our provisions and get ready to go. Now the first week or so of our trip is going to be a full crew trip so uh, almost all of the current build crew are coming on that trip except for uh, Joe and Zeal who unfortunately can't make it so we're going to talk to them before we leave. We've got some other friends coming for the trip as well, some of whom you may have seen in previous episodes, so uh, they have arrived and will be helping us to provision. And just before we started putting lots and lots of things in the boat, we cleared everything out and gave the whole interior a good clean, and I got some good footage of the spaces completely clear and tidy, uh, because I suspect they may never be quite like that again.
What are you working on? I'm making uh, one last little connection on the air intake on the heater here. Well, Joe, we're off tomorrow. Yeah. And it's been, um, what, a year and a half? Two years? Wow. All of two years. <laughs> two years that you've been yep. doing the systems on this boat. Mm -hmm. And uh, I couldn't be more happy with them. Cool. And uh, with how it's been working with you. It's been really, really awesome. Yeah. And, uh, well. I'm just sorry you can't join us for our crew trip. Someday I will. Yeah. For sure. Let you guys get the wrinkles smoothed uh -huh. out. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, it's an extraordinary project. I, I, It's not like anything I've ever seen before or might not ever see again. The first thing I would like to say is uh, what a crew you put together. Yeah. I, mean, I really, really like everybody I've worked with on this job. Mm -hmm. And that's really unusual. So, yeah. yeah. Initially, you set the bar so high with the bronze hanging knees and the uh, floor timbers and the copper riveted futticks that it was almost impossible to come on this boat and not realize that and want to do work everywhere that matched that level. So mm. it really brought everybody up. Well, I mean, your work has certainly uh, met that standard or, you know, if not exceeded it, because uh, the systems work you've been doing is uh, some of the most beautiful system stuff uh, I've ever seen. And um, yeah, it's phenomenal. It was really, yeah, it was super fun to be able to be rewarded for taking that attention to detail mm -hmm. you know just uh I've, lots of things i've kind of thought about like buying just a silly little copper hole punch and making my own p clamps is something yeah. that you know it's aesthetically really nice but it's also been really useful like i use that all throughout the boat in places where i couldn't find brackets that i could just buy off the shelf so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I see those details everywhere. Like just everything is that has that hands-on attention to detail, and even some of the little imperfections that add a lot. It's so obviously custom and not yeah. you know manufactured. That yeah, it has a, a super unique feel to it. You know, yeah. to her. You know. well, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Thanks for everything. What's uh, what's next for you? A uh, little time off, and uh, in the fall, I gotta I gotta repower on our neighbor's boat over there. And yeah, some other stuff lined up. Yeah, hopefully you'll have me back for a couple little. Oh, I'm there'll sure be a couple we'll have little some things more work for you. <laughs> you did change. So. Give me a call the next time you find a wrecked hulk on a beach somewhere that you want to restore. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Joe. Yeah, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Ocean Systems. Yeah, Ocean Systems Inc. <laughs> at gmail.com. There you go. <laughs>
for the capstan to sit on and the chain gutter. The other things would be the, the chocks that hold the fisherman anchor on deck, the spare kedge anchor. I'm really grateful for being able to have an opportunity to work on a boat like this. I've been doing this work all of my adult life and it's rare to be able to bring things to the quality that we've been able to on Tally Ho. And that's a really unique experience that I'm super glad to be a part of and I'm super grateful and proud of everybody that's been working on Tally. Yeah, so just grateful to have been a part of it for the time that I have been. Yeah, have so much fun. Yeah, thanks dude. Uh, you too. Have a great summer. Yeah. Thanks for everything. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> Seriously. Also. Amazing work. Yeah. Oh my god. Thank it's kind you so of much. Sloppy. It's loose. Have Thanks fun, for all guys. the great work and the good vibes. So today is the day. We've been working so hard for uh, hours, weeks, months, years, I guess, but uh, the last few weeks, especially in the last few days, have been really intense getting the boat ready to go. And um, I mean, I've barely been getting any sleep uh, this week. And I know the crew have been working really, really hard as well. Uh, but I'm so excited. The boat is loaded up. Uh, we've got so much stuff. Uh, on board down below it's kind of chaos down there we're going to be stowing stuff as we go just hoping we haven't forgotten anything too important and really amazed that we're actually leaving the dock for a trip so we're going to be um, crossing the strait of Juan de Fuca and uh, arriving at the San Juan Islands this evening pretty good forecast don't know what else to say really very very excited to get underway we packed up the boat Woo! yay yeah. Honestly, a little bit of a relief right now because it's been a really long day and we're still doing a lot of stowing down here. Still a lot of stuff floating around. We're trying to make the boat comfortable. Fans are eager to see a provisions tour. Of the oh, boat. yeah. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> are you going to do it? I'm going to do it. All right. So here Take we it are. away, Patty. Oh, who's that that just came into frame? It's Bob Downs and Nick Pion. What's up, Bobby boy? Hey, I'm Bob. <laughs> 
So we can see the uh, chips and breads, I guess. Potatoes. So in our uh, in our uh, firewood compartment, we've got uh, looks like baked beans, some boxed wine, toilet yeah. paper. Here's the toilet paper and paper towels. Good to know. It's good to know. All right, we've got uh, pasta. Excellent. We've got uh, sun-dried tomatoes, balsamic vinegar. Dude, the fans want to know what's in the liquor locker. Okay, we'll Let's get there. Do a liquor we'll locker there. spot. We'll get there. Hit uh, that. Yeah, I'm on my way. Get oh, there dude, now. This, this compartment's almost empty too. We've got flour here. This is where the flour is for when you bake cookies. What's in here? Oh my. Oh. Amazing. It's booze. <laughs> Wait, where's all the food though? Corpeak is just completely stuck. Yeah, I'm about to stow some stuff from up there. How are we feeling out here? Just great. Greater than great. <laughs> That's yeah. Passive. Yeah, it yeah. Feels passive. very authentic. <laughs> First passage and Bob's in the galley. It's a good sign. How are you feeling? Uh, feeling good so far, but still early. George is uh, relaxing. What are you reading, George? Uh, the Winter of Our Discontent. Ah, yeah. That's my book. It is your book. It's a good one. It's a great book. All right, well, we are approaching our destination on this uh, Tally Ho's first uh, little passage since the rebuild. And uh, it's been a uh, pretty amazing being out here, really amazing, actually. Um, the wind pretty much just picked up just recently and we're almost there, so we haven't uh, bothered sailing. And actually, the whole time, uh, we've been busy stowing stuff down below and uh, getting things sorted out. We've got a lot of stuff on deck, which isn't lashed down and stuff, so we didn't we weren't really ready to sail, but um, it's been so fun just uh, being out on the boat, going somewhere. And I can't believe we're not turning around and going back to Port Townsend later or tomorrow. Um, so we're coming up to Watmo Bay and uh, we're actually meeting up with a friend here, uh, Nick, who uh, has a beautiful boat called Argonaut 2. And uh, it's a, an old uh, motor yacht and I'm sure he'll tell us more about it when we get there. Uh, and some other friends of ours are here as well in a Thunderbird, a T-Bird, which is a local design. Uh, so when we come around the corner there into the bay, we should see them and we're going to raft up with Nick tonight and uh, have some dinner and get some sleep, which we all really need and uh, see what tomorrow brings. My sports coat on. Hi. I'm Cozy. Good to see you. I'm so excited. Your dinner excited. jacket yeah. is what you're looking my for. My dinner jacket. There you go. You did pack your dinner jacket, right? Oh, God. I did pack my Gansey sweater. Like a real good grandson. Great. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the vibe. Vibe. It just hit me and then I just came on the boat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
So we made it out of Port Townsend Bay and across the Straits of Juan de Fuca to the San Juan Islands, our first stop on our trip north. And we stayed that first night in a place called Watmo Bay, rafted up with a boat that belongs to a friend of ours. Now leaving on a big trip on a boat is always a lot of work and it can be really hard to actually leave the dock. Uh, however well prepared you are, uh, we had a lot of last minute jobs to do and a lot of stuff ended up not uh, making the final list. Uh, and so there's gonna be lots of jobs to do along the way. And of course, when we get back after the summer, but we're really excited and I'm really, really happy to just be underway and to be having a chance to use the boat this summer. In the next video, you'll get to meet all the crew who are here with us and learn more about the boat that we're rafted up next to and we'll be traveling with for a while. But for now, thanks a lot for watching and a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has donated or otherwise supported this project. It does make a huge difference. It means we're able to keep on doing this work, keep on sailing this boat and keep on making these videos. So I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.